are called the prettiest department. Needless to say, says a lot. That smells good. It is only bubble gum. It's called uptight. Curl and blow dry. I find when I'm working with them, I really listen. I study my script and I get to feel the character out and I converse with them to try to get an image of what they really want. That's sexy. <laughs> yeah. The head of department or key, they're the ones who have to talk to the producer. When you become like a first assistant, which is a wonderful place because <laughs> you don't have that responsibility, then your job is to assist your boss in her job. And she will delegate and set up different things for you to do and take care of. A second assistant usually is taking more care of like background players and people of that nature. They don't usually um, handle main cast. The people I work with closely, besides my own department, would be the makeup department, who we usually share a trailer with. We work in pretty cramped space. So we try to keep everything relatively calm. The hair chair is what we kind of call that place, the womb. And they, it's a comfort zone. Just so we get a little yeah. more. Okay. Most hairstylists who work in shops will utilize hair dryers and, and more of that kind of stuff. Yeah. We have to work very quickly, so we use hot rollers, two-way tape, all kinds Sometimes of things to uh, execute what we need to do. Yeah. We do a lot of wig work as well, so you have to have all extra equipment that you would never find anywhere else. We use hot irons uh, because we have to do things very quickly. We don't have hours. We have maybe 15 minutes to 45 minutes to get a hairdo done. Costumes is just giving me the go-ahead. I'm probably about maybe seven or eight minutes. Is that okay? Hair's good. When we go to set, you have to be there to take care of the performers, and we have to make sure that the hair stays the same. So if it moves, we have to go in front of the camera and very quickly, without causing a big ado, change the hair or fix it or whatever needs to be done. You have to be right on top of it at all times. We have to be extremely aware of everything that's going on. Like, you're kind of on edge because you don't always get the information you need, but you have to be there to take care of the performers. A show that I was on a long time ago was lit, and they were ready to shoot. There is this incredible shadow going down the front of this guy's face. And I'm looking at it thinking, what is that? This is really too weird. So I went behind the monitor, and I could see it there, right? So I said to the head of guy of the lighting, I said, we have a huge shadow. This, did you see it? And he looked. Oh, my goodness. What's that? And I said, it's the man's two hairs on his forehead. So what had happened, he had lit from above, right? And it was bouncing off those two hairs and I swear it was two hairs, which cast a V right down the man's face. And that's what the hair department does. <laughs> I was gonna find a wig now, the dummy, but your hair is so short. I know. I had asked for lengths. Did you? Yeah. Well. No, it's just kidding. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're fired. I'm, okay. I'm fired already. <laughs> You're already. Just... I worked in a, a beauty parlor like most people start. Oh, well, I ended up working in a theater after work, which I did for free, and I fell in love with it. So I continued on working through theater, and this woman phoned me up and said that she needed some help with wigs. And of course, I had all this wig training. <laughs> Don't be getting excited. Remember how hot you were back in those days? <laughs> yeah. Hey? Yeah. Yeah, this wig's a little bit small for you, but... Just a little bit. Just a little bit. I mean, it's not the best. We could lay the hair in here. Just that'll be easy. So we have to take a lot of photos of you because we want to make this guy look as close to you as possible. Look at that. Oh, my God. Look this at the is camera. Wild. Isn't he lovely? Huh? Cool. OK. But back to reality. So when I had the wig, I realized it was too thick and bulky. We used half of the wig. And we put that in the lower part here, and I glued it on. Took the eye of the needle, right, and put it in a holder. 
and then you put the hair there, and then it's just literally punched into the rubber. The real life actor who plays a banker in the in this show ends up doing some uh, sort of shady work with the funds and stuff, and ends up hanging himself. They were going to go with a stunt guy to hang from the Farrar Street Bridge, but it looked on because their harnesses always have them sort of pushed forward. So they ended up going with a dummy just so that it would dead hang. People with thinning hair, it's really hard to do. So we have another one coming up and I'm going, please, long blonde hair, please. If you don't need a lot of sleep, this is a great job. If you need a lot of sleep, you're not gonna get it. It's anywhere from a 12 to 17, 18 hour day. It's really hard. It's not an easy job to go into. It is a totally consuming for the hair department, and, and I'm sure makeup as well. Some of the biggest theaters are in small areas. Offer your services as a hairdresser. You can learn a lot, right? And it, it adds up to a resume, like keep track of everything you do. Letters of recommendation from people, it's really important. Whether you got paid for it or not, it really doesn't matter because you're giving your services. And when people see that you've worked that hard for free and you've got all these letters and they look at you and think, this is a good person that they want to have. We do deal with the stars. And uh, we see them first thing in the morning and the last thing at night. And they become almost like your children. Janet usually just spits on her fingers. That is such a bad thing to say. You know, I'm just the, just the joking. Act, the actor spits on his finger, yeah, and then and then I spread it around. I cannot spit on my fingers. It's true. You know, that I, was only a joke. I'm Janet's so a true glad. professional and uses nothing but the best products. Did he do? <laughs>